Our, our happiest memories are Dead. one snowman will make all the difference. You're Torino! This is the story of a town that had a town and the one magical town. Frosty, Frosty. Can't ah, sorry. Just let me have that. Just let me have that. Okay. Was a jolly, happy sus with a corn cob pipe and a corn cob pipe and two eyes. No shit, Sherlock. No one needs frost more than a Jenny Perkins of 13932 Jefferson Way. There's probably millions of Wait. crying all over the world, but this one particular I want to home in on. Oh boy! Wait a shot! It's a lovely day to walk down the road. Now that's thorough! Yum. Come on, step it up! No! You wouldn't want to have to talk to human resources. Would you? Oh, man. The boy take it up. Oh, babe! It's unbearable! Now you're getting it. I want to die. Okay, that's perfect, everybody. Bubble bowl, here we go. Everybody do the flop. But if there's one one thing that love has taught me, it's that they are no Texas. I think it's fun. La, 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 la. They do not hear you talking. Good morning. I hope you all did your homework. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wait, remember what you taught us? Think before you. <laughs> Wait! It's not my birthday! What are you doing here? Scared of whoa. Should I take it? Why? Does she have long fangs or terrible claws? Oh my god. Yeah! One down. 24 to go. No, this is terrible. That snowman's getting all the credit. What are we gonna do? Veggie got an idea. An awful idea. This is boring! Is this place? Every moment I live is agony. Frosty the origin issue. Long, long ago, there was this kid who was adopted by a strange hybrid creature named Professor Wolf Tree. Despite looking like an alien animal from space, she tried being the most kind, caring, and best mother around. Unfortunately, all of that changed one day when a magical talking snowman named Frosty came into the mix. He ended up befriending the kid, and they have play dates every single day. Much to his mother's dismay, the kid seemed to prefer Frosty over his own mom, all because he was more fun and supportive than she was, even though she clearly was doing the same thing for him. So as the kid grew more distant towards his mom, the tiny hybrid changed. She became bitter and cold convincing herself that she was never a good enough mom to begin with. As an act of jealousy, she put on a disguise and began calling herself the Joy Taker and trapped Frosty's hat in multiple boxes so that he could never see Frosty again. But the winds of change have a way of stirring up things. The boy is now an adult with the voice of SpongeBob and had grown miserable because he lost his friend to the Joy Taker. If nobody can stop this mother turned monster, she will change the world into her own uglier image. That's it? I was talking to the clipboard, son. Oh! If you like the clipboard so much, why don't you just marry her? Uh, next week at the Pretty Lake! <laughs> just stop shooting, please! We should lock our doors! We should dig a moat! We should take Evergreen and push it somewhere else! Can you ever forgive me? Yes. When we hear a bubble 